Hello, bada da, namaste, and welcome to the fourth session of the Tuesday Tonic. This week we are going to be looking at centering yourself. There is a certain giddiness I'm noticing in the atmosphere at the moment. I'm not sure whether it's because we've been in lockdown for four weeks or whether it's just the time of year. But with this giddiness, although it's very exciting, it's also important that we find ways to be able to keep ourselves centered and grounding um, so that we don't fly off somewhere in our mind or even body and do an injury to ourselves. So we will start with our usual breathing work. We're going to be looking at uh, another classical uh, yoga technique called Nadi Shodhana, uh, otherwise known as alternate nostril breathing. We won't be retaining the breath in this week's session, but just to advise you that if you do suffer hypertension, then it is advised you stay away from this. I think that might be to do with the retention aspect, um, but again, it might be one of those things to check with your doctor first, and again, be patient. We're still heavily in this pandemic, so um, you know, just just bear with that. Okay, so if you have your chair ready, let's get to it. If you have your block ready, do position that, and we'll start. In a relaxed place so starting with letting that back be supported by the back of the chair checking that the feet are hip width apart parallel if possible to one another and just observe where your hands naturally want to fall today and if you're comfortable to then close your eyes and just Feel the body settling into the seat and noticing your breathing. See if you can slow it down a little bit. And I'm going to take you on a visual journey. What I would like you to do, if you can follow me with this, is to imagine that you have lasers coming through your feet, boring through into the ground beneath you. So if you're on a block, first of all, boring through that block, and then the floor, whether it's carpeted or floorboards, boring through that into the foundations, if you're on the ground floor, if you're on the first floor or above, imagine it boring through those floors before you reach the actual um, bedrock on which the building is positioned, situated. And continue boring through the uh, first layer of the earth, the crust. And then keep boring through until you get to the mantle of the earth's layer where you find the magma liquid heat, liquid, boring through even further into the outer core, where there are many of the earth's uh, metals, and then finally through to the inner core, which is mainly iron, so it's absolutely solid, but then boring through that with your laser beam of light, and then right in the very center, you enter into a cavern, a space, and in this cavern, there's a hazy light colour. And envisage whatever colour you, you see, let that be, it could be any colour, but it's, there's a hazy, foggy, kind of smoggy haze. And what you're going to do is when you breathe in, you're going to start to draw in this hazy light colour, this very core substance of the earth itself. With every breath in, you're going to draw it back up through this laser hole that you've created from your feet right through to the centre of the earth. Every breath in, drawing it up further and further, up through 
the um, inner core, the outer core, up through the mantle, up through the crust of the earth, these rocks, until you come through the floorboards of the building that you're in, if you're in a garden, and up through the soil, and into the feet, and drawing that colour light up through the front of the body, so the front of the legs, and then continuing up the front of the body to the chest, the face, and then exhale down the back of the head and let it draw down. And then with every inhalation, you're drawing more and more in for a few breaths. And then you're exhaling down the back of the body. A couple more breaths, drawing the center of the earth energy itself into your body. Okay, and then on your next inhalation, can you energetically close off the soles of your feet? So you're closing off this connection you have. You're letting that go, but you're containing this energy in the form of light in your body. You're inhaling it up through the bottom of the feet, up the legs, the front of the body, up the head, and exhale it down the back of the head, down the back, down the back of the legs, back through to the feet, and then inhale up to the front again. Continue in this way, and when you feel comfortable, you can also include the front and the back of the arms, if your visualization can take you there as well. And what you're doing here is allowing that energy to move into every cell in your body, grounding you, helping you stay connected and grounded to the earth. And if you want to keep your eyes closed now, if you remember riding the wave, where you just draw the chest forward on the out breath and let the head eventually drop down, then you inhale and release from the base of the spine, rolling up the spine, and then exhaling the chest forward. Eventually the head tips forward, then inhale, roll up from the base of the spine, and continue in this way. And if you can keep that visualization working as well, if that works for you, then stay with it. If it's too much, let that go. Working with your own natural rhythm of breathing. A couple more times. And then the next time you exhale, Forward and down. When you inhale up, can you inhale back up to sitting upright? So you're no longer sitting back in the back of the chair. You're sitting upright. And then from here, bringing the hands, making sure that they're on the thighs. They can be palms face down or up. I want you to let go of that image now of drawing the earth energy to the front and back of the body. And then just focus on the spine itself. So as you breathe in, visualize drawing the breath in through the nose, down the spine, all the way down, as far as it will go, and then exhaling back up the spine and out through the nose. And as you do this, I want you to see if you can bring in that full yogic breath that we looked at last week. So if you recall, when you breathe in, you're breathing into the lower part torso and then letting it expand upwards. What you can imagine if you want to refine this just a little bit more this week. If you want to take your image back or your mind back to the diaphragm and imagine that you're breathing into that diaphragm, flattening it out to the side and as you do that it will automatically mean that the belly will expand as well as the ribs and then eventually the upper rib cage will also expand. So see if you can take the central point of focus now with this full yogic breath to the diaphragm at the bottom of the rib cage. And notice if it feels any different. If you have been practicing several times, 
over the week, the, uh, uh, the yogic breath we looked at last week, you may notice there's a slight difference of uh, focus. You might feel that in your body. And notice which one feels more comfortable for you. And then if you'd like to hold the breath at the top of it, obviously if you're pregnant, don't, or any aspects of hypertension or blood pressure issues, perhaps not hold the breath. But if, if you feel comfortable to hold the breath, then do. And then exhale from the bottom to the top. Just one more now. And exhale. And return to your natural rhythm of breathing. So, Nadi Shodana, alternate nostril breathing. This is a wonderful technique for harmonizing the dualistic energies in the body without talking too much about that. If you um, appreciate or, or bear with me that uh, when I say this, two major dualistic energies working through your body and it tends to swing from one um, energetic set of principles to another um, throughout the day. And what we're working on with Nadi Shodana is to just marry those two dualistic energies together so you feel um, centered because you're harmonizing the two together, marrying them together in effect. And this is how you're going to do it. Unfortunately, I can't mirror you in this exercise, so you are going to be doing literally the opposite to me. So I'm bringing my right hand up to my nose, and I'm going to use my right thumb and my right ring finger. So you're tucking your um, forefinger and middle finger into the mount of Venus, and using these two digits to swing backwards and forwards on the nostril. So you're using the arm on that side of your body. Okay, um, and what you're going to do is quite simply inhale for three counts through your left nostril, close that nostril, then open the other nostril, which is your right one, and exhale out for the count of six if you can. Then you're going to inhale through the count for the count of three through that same nostril. Close that nostril, open your left, exhale to six, and so on. And it's just going to roll like that. I'm going to count you and talk you through it. I'll also have my hand in this position so that you can follow the opposite of what I'm doing. Okay. Your left hand is in Chin Mudra, but the palms face up, if that's comfortable. So before we start, just rest this hand on your knee. Shoulders are nice and relaxed. Have the hands ready, so this ring finger is ready and this thumb. And we're just going to take a couple of breaths through both nostrils before we practice a few rounds. If you want to stop at any time, of course, stop. All right, so taking a breath through both nostrils, deeply into the body, and then exhale through both nostrils. Good, and one more inhale. And exhale. And now close up the right nostril with the right thumb. Inhale left on one, on two, on three. Close the left nostril. Open the right. Exhale on one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale right nostril on one, on two, on three. Close the right nostril. Open the left. Exhale one. Two, three, four, five, six. Inhale left on one, on two, on three. Close the left. Open the right. Exhale one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six. Inhale right on one, on two, on three. Close. Open the left. Exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six. Inhale left on one, on two, on three. Close left, open right, exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six. Inhale right on one, on two, on three. Close the right, 
Open the left, exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, last round, inhale, one, on two, on three, close the left, open the right, exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, inhale right, on one, on two, on three, close right, open the left, exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, lower the hand down and continue to breathe naturally into your body and observe where that movement is occurring to take the space of the air in your torso. Allowing the breath to steady and quiet. Okay, if your eyes are closed, opening the eyes and placing your hands at either side of the chair. You're moving straight into the alternate leg raises, starting with your right leg. I'm mirroring you again now. So inhale, lift your right leg up, keep the body upright, exhale down. And the um, other leg, inhale, lift up, exhale down. And inhale up, and exhale down. your left leg technically or perhaps you're doing the opposite wiggle those feet and the other way and exhale that leg down keep the body lifted up from the base of the spine inhale leg up and circle that foot if you can and the other way down. Can you do both legs? Remember you need a strong core. Inhale, straighten both legs up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And this time you're going to inhale up and hold if you can. Before you take your hands away. Really work with your core here. And exhale down. Just a little wriggle. We did a lot of wriggling last week, I remember. Okay, we're looking at a classical yoga posture called Gomakasana, the cow, the cow's face, actually. And we can use the block to support one of our legs if you have got a block. If you haven't, don't worry so much. Just make sure you're properly grounded with the one foot that is supporting on the floor. Perhaps move to the front of your chair. Okay, so you cross your, well this is your left leg isn't it, so crossing that over to the right and use the block to rest that foot on if you can, just the toe, that's fine, I want you to feel that you're, you're quite grounded and then you're going to inhale and lift your right arm up to the sky and then can you drop it behind you. You're going to take this other arm out to the side and bend it behind you and try and catch hold of the hand behind you. Now, if that is not possible, move this hand and then place it to the elbow that's raised. And you are going to work on exhaling this elbow up and back and take some deep breaths. If crossing the legs causes issues, if you've got vein issues, perhaps crossing the legs is not a good idea. It's possible either not to cross them at all or just cross at the ankles. A couple more breaths here. And then I'm going to ask you to slowly exhale the body forward. Now this is where you need to be so stable because you don't want to tipple forward. Just see if you can exhale forward. Couple of breaths. Right, a lot of traffic then. And then inhale up, release the hands, stretch them out, bring them down, roll the shoulders, perhaps a little wiggle. 
heels, take the feet away, and then you're going to cross over to the other side. So if you are using a block, take that over to the other side, and then you're going to cross the leg so that your right foot is now crossed over. If not, then the ankle or not at all, if you're at all concerned about pain issues. So then you're taking your left arm up to the sky and then bend that behind you. First of all, see if you can catch the other hand and interlock the fingers together. If that's not happening, take this arm away and place it to the elbow and you're working on exhaling that elbow up and back. And you're trying to keep your head upright, which can be very tricky when you start with this posture. But try to imagine a core lifting you up from the crown of your head. Deep breaths. Staying with that for a couple more breaths. Upright, and then if you can bear it, <laughs> just slowly exhaling forward and down. Deep breath. And inhale up, great. Release and roll those shoulders. And wriggle as much as you need to to loosen up. Bringing the block back to the center. If you want to place your feet back on the block, if you have that more security, then certainly do. Now you're going to inhale the arms forward and up, and then bend the hands behind you and see if you can. Place your hands on the wings of the back or the top of the shoulders. And as you breathe, you're going to exhale both elbows up. And breathe deeply. One more deep breath. modified version but we can work with our imagination as well. What you're going to do is you're going to inhale the arms up into a prayer position if you can above the head. So far so good. Okay then you're very slowly going to exhale forward. Now what I want you to do is to keep those arms if you can energetically sellotaped to your ears. So you want to keep them in that line but keep bending forward. You're going to reach a point where it feels really difficult. And, and that's good. It means you're working hard. Okay. And then, once you've gone as far as you feel, you realistically can go, can you then just start to tuck that tailbone under and draw the tummy muscle back? In effect, you're applying a kind of lock here in the tummy. And this is keeping you very centered and grounded. And stay with this for a couple more breaths. And I want you to imagine, can you imagine doing this in space without the chair? Because that's what it, moves, that's what it comes to. Eventually you're standing on the ground and there's no chair there, but you are sitting in this position. Um, but this is a great way to start. One more breath. And next inhalation. Inhale up. And exhale, the arms out to the side. Take hold of the back of the chair and then thrust that chest forward. Allow the back to release, allow the head to release back. Let the jaw be loose. Remember, we've talked about the jaw in the past. So the jaw is nice and loose. Deep breath. It's as if you're drawing the wings of your back together. Deep breath. And then inhale, release. Good. Okay. Just a little wriggle out there. Another variation of spinal twist. You are going to place your left foot. Is that right? I think so. Yes. <laughs> your 
yeah, your left foot is straightened out. If you're using a block, the heel is supported on the block. The, the right foot is directly below the right knee. You're going to place your right hand on your left thigh and your left hand holds the back of the chair and you're just going to exhale and twist. Keep the back upright, the body upright and you're just twisting. And as you twist, push that left heel forward so you're getting a nice lengthening as well in that leg as you breathe. Couple more deep breaths. Next inhalation, inhale forward. Great, a little wriggle out if you need to. And then your right foot is going to be straight. Left foot stacked directly below the left knee. Keep that parallel and in line. Push that right heel forward. Left hand on right thigh, right hand holding the back of the chair. Inhale, lift from the base of the spine and exhale, turning to your right and breathe. Next inhalation, inhale, center, good. A little wriggle out, bring the block back. And the last posture is a variation, well, it's a side stretch. Um, we don't need to do any more than that at this stage. You're imagining you're holding a beach ball above you. Again, your arms, if they can be, energetically connected to the ears, so you, they stay in that line. You're going to breathe in, and then you're going to exhale over to your right, and you're wanting to keep hold of that beach ball and breathe in. As you reach over to the side, you're going to feel that your left buttock is lifting up, so I want you to really work on grounding that down, and you're going to feel that um, lengthening start to take place right from that left hip all the way along the side of the body to possibly the left fingertips. A couple more breaths and inhale up and then over to the other side. Exhale. Notice how that right buttock wants to lift up so root that down. Breathe deeply into the right side of the body. Keep hold of that uh, beach ball. And inhale up, and exhale, reach out to the side to come down, and give those shoulders a roll, give the body a wriggle as much as it needs, and you're going to move into a couple of minutes of final relaxation, so grab your warm layers if you need them. Okay, and, and again, remember... Um, we're coming to the end of the session now, so if you want to stay longer in this relaxation period, then do. Uh, take your own time and just give yourself a few moments before bouncing back into your usual rhythm of the day. And also, you know, engaging with conversations with people, it may take you just a bit of time to adjust back again. So do give yourself that time. This is about you and your own self-development and bringing peace of mind to yourself, so um, move out of that gently, alright, so sitting back comfortably, feeling that very grounded connection with the feet, if you remember that visualisation at the beginning where we went right through to the centre of the earth, and that can be done at any time when you want to really feel that you're grounding yourself, if you're feeling a little bit flighty. Alright, place your hands as you wish to on the legs. Close your eyes if you're comfortable to do so. And just take a moment to just give the body a little check. So imagine you've got a little scanner device inside your body and you just go around. Um, and see if you can see everything in the body as well. And just, just observe how everything's feeling for you. Just taking the time. Gently move around the body, just observing any sensations.
any feelings, maybe awareness of sound in the body. And then just finding the breath and noticing the breath. Steady, smooth. Deepening that breath, wiggling your fingers and your toes, and it'll be very gentle on your eyes. Just take a moment to look around your space and return back fully into yourself. Wishing you all a lovely rest of Tuesday, rest of the week, and look forward to being with you again next Tuesday. Namaste.